Hey guys, Darcy here, and today we're going to talk about an interesting use case of getting your tempo to line up with the seconds in your timeline. Let's jump into it. All right, guys, so we're in Luna, and I want to give you a bit of context before we jump into this. My friend, who's like one of my best friends and my, my trainer, does holistic treatment. Uh, he's doing something with uh, uh, what's called concentrated breathing. Um, basically, you have to breathe over a specific length of time, like four seconds, five seconds, six seconds, that kind of a thing. And so he asked me to help make this piece of music where essentially every chord is played at the length of five seconds or six seconds. So we put together this thing. It's really, really basic. I won't even play it. But what I want to show in this video is how it became very easy to get the exact tempo for this because of the way the timeline works here in Luna. So essentially what I did was I just created a simple four chord progression. Uh, I'm using Scalar over here just to help do the chords, just to come up with something really simple for what he was looking for. So you can see it's just four bars, really simple. And you can see here that each bar, when I zoom in at the top here, lines up to six seconds. And let's say we want to take this back to the five second version, okay? so. All I had to do is grab the tempo and watch these two things line up. Basically, when bar two lines up with five seconds, we're good to go. So I just grab it, slide it, and boom, there it is. It's lined up. So that's 48 BPM, right? If I want to bring it back to six seconds, just grab it and keep going until I get there, and it's 40. So eight beats per, per, per minute. And then we had to drag this out to 10 minutes. So essentially you just duplicate it out until you see that 10 minute mark. And if it's over, like if we bring this back to the 48, then we see that we're a little bit short. So we grab these two and just duplicate them out until we hit the 10 minute mark, which is quite a few apparently. Yep, now we hit the 10 minute mark. That is a really interesting use case, but it really demonstrates how well you can use the timing to tempo piece. Um, I've also used this before, actually in something you've already heard, which is my intro music. When I was making the intro music for this channel, I actually was trying to line everything up to be like a 30 second, a 15 second, like a five second. And so I was doing different cuts and I just try to match my tempo and then watch the, the timeline and line things up. So there's a lot of really interesting use use cases that you know when time is more important um, than the BPM or when you're trying to match your BPM to the time that how these two things line up and how they, they work really benefits you if you're just kind of dragging it and watching how the timeline is st stretching to match the BPM anyways Hope you found this helpful. If you did, let me know that in the comments. Give me a like, share, all that business. Uh, and let me know if there's anything that I can help you with, uh, any weird, interesting use cases that you've come across. I'd love to capture that in a video as well. Anyways, have yourself a good one and peace.